Hello everybody! Today I'm doing something a little different. I typically don't do mixed media on my pages and today I'm going to be creating my own pattern paper using these distress inks, some stamps, and this 9x12 sheet of cardstock. Um, you'll, you're also going to see a little sneak peek at um, a new project that I'm going to be starting on my channel later this week. So the first thing I'm doing to create this background is I'm going to get down these distress inks using the packaging technique. I'm going to create horizontal stripes of color. Um, the first color up is squeeze lemonade. I'm just diluting it with a little bit of water and then smushing it down onto the page. I wanted this layout to be bright and fun and summery. Um, so the next color I'm using is Cracked Pistachio, and then the third one is Peacock Feathers. Now Peacock Feathers is a little darker, so what I ended up doing was diluting it with more water and then um, dabbing the excess away with a paper towel before I smushed it down. Um, overlapping the colors a little bit, um, but not too much. Um, and then I'm just going to go down the rest of the page, um, repeating the Squeeze Lemonade, Cracked Pistachio, and Peacock Feathers. Um, then the next thing I'm going to do um, is go ahead and start stamping across the page. Now I didn't prep this paper with gesso or anything, and it warped a little bit, but not as bad as I thought it would, um, so I was pleased with how that came out. I'm also using, it's a scrap piece of paper essentially, I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out, so I'm using the back side of um, a piece of paper that I wasn't crazy about from a paper pad. Next I'm going to use these A Beautiful Mess stamps, they came in my May Messy box and I liked, um, I liked the little hand drawn patterns that came in there. So I thought maybe I should use the little dots but I end up going with those squiggles. And um, what I'm going to do is just stamp them horizontally across the page. I'm going to ink the stamp probably every other time that I'm pressing them on the page. And I'm changing the direction that those little arrows are going. So first they're pointing to the left and then I switch it to the right and so on down the page. Um, so what I'm going to do is tape the corners of the paper down with some washi tape so that it's flat on my surface because um, it was moving around and um, giving me a little bit of problems. But first, I'm going to cut down the photo that I'm using. Again, it's a picture of my grandmother. Um, I think she looks really cute here. And um, the project that I'm going to be working on my channel over the next several weeks is um, I'm going to show you guys how I'm scrapping my heritage photos. So I'm starting with one of the easier ones that I have. It's of my grandma in the 60s, and I knew her um, very well. She re only recently passed away, so. Um, you know, I've had her in the majority of my lifetime, I've known her, and she's just a bright, vibrant person. So that's why I wanted to use um, these colors on this layout. Um, it's also a picture of her in the Bahamas, so I thought that it was fitting. So what I'm going to do is show you how I silk screen this pineapple image using um, the silk screen that I received in my June messy box. I'm using some Martha Stewart um, acrylic craft paint an old gift card and some wax paper to put the paint down on. So I only used a little bit of paint and I'm going to just um, carefully pick that up with the gift card and smear it over the image. I'm using some cold pressed watercolor paper here so that it's a little sturdier. And I found that it's easiest when you pull the paint towards you. Um, I also had a little bit of trouble um, cleaning the silk screen. Um, so I'm going to dab off the excess paint and then run it under some warm water with a little bit of soap immediately so that it doesn't dry. So once the, the image dries, I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut that, um, that pineapple shape and it's going to go in the bottom right hand corner of the layout as if it's just hanging off the page. So I'm going to cut it with a little bit of a white border around each leaf. And then I wanted to mat my photo on some darker paper. That was my first attempt at the background, and it was just too dark, um, too dark for um, what I was going for. So I want to use um, the peacock feathers and mermaid lagoon color that I had smushed down on that piece of paper. 
So I'm going to trim the photo down and then also pull out that other pineapple because I want to layer it behind the photo as if it was a die cut. I'm also going to use these other bits from my June Messy Box, that 3x3 card that says Summer Vibes and the blue shipping label. I end up trimming the top of the card because I want to see more of the pattern at the top of the page. And my journaling is going to go on the blue shipping label. I'm also going to use those Amy Tangerine Plus One Transparent Alpha stickers for my title. Unfortunately, I ran out of um, black A's, so I had to improvise. And to soften those layers a little bit, I'm using this um, 6x6 um, herringbone vellum piece of paper that I had from a way old Studio Calico card kit. So before I put my title down, I realized that I need to adhere that to the page so that um, I can be sure of where to place my title. And I'm going to pop up the leaves of the pineapple with some pop dots. Um, and you'll see I carefully put some adhesive on the back of the tag in three small spots. Um, it was a very real possibility that I was going to mess up my journaling and I didn't want to have to, um, if I needed to use the back side, I didn't want to have to take off a ton of adhesive. But I am happy to report that I got it right the first time. So there I am popping up the leaves of the pineapple and I really like the dimension that that adds. I'm going to cut the excess of that um, pineapple that's hanging off the edge. I'm going to cut that off in a moment. Then um, I thought I was going to go with this title Nassau Bahamas, that's where the photo was taken, but it was too obvious and uh, I wanted a title that's a little more playful for my grandmother. So I, I end up changing that. I'm going to pop up those leaves on the bottom pineapple too. I really like um, how the shadow that it casts underneath each leaf. So I changed my title to Bahama Mama and uh, I pull out my enamel dots. I'm going to use those from my June Messy box and I'm going to put them in three areas on the page to create a triangle. I ran out of that mint color so I pull some more enamel dots from um, an older Dear Lizzie collection, I think it's Daydreamer, and I put those to the left of my title. So then I'm carefully peeling off my Freckle Fawn washi tape and I'm going to go ahead and cut the excess of the pineapple off. Next up is my journaling. And um, I actually had to call my mom to see, to get an estimate of when this photo was taken. And she told me that she remembers um, being dropped off at her grandmother's house um, when my grandmother and grandfather went over to the Bahamas for a weekend. Um, we grew up in South Florida and it's just a quick trip over there. So it says, after leaving the kids with the grandparents, Cliff and Janet take a trip to Nassau, Bahamas. Janet is pictured visiting Fort Finn Castle circa 1960. So that's my layout, and then I have a few close-up few close-up shots coming too. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out my channel later this week for more details on my next project. Thanks for watching!